This next song says, Lord, you are good, and your mercy endureth forever. You all can sing it with us once you catch it. Oh, say, Lord, you are good. Say, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. You all can help us say that. It says, Lord, you are good. Lord, you and your mercy endureth, and your mercy endureth forever. Endureth forever. Say, Lord, you are good and your mercy. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Whoa, it says people from every nation. From generation to generation, we can lift it up all over the room. We worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. Oh, we can say that again. We worship you. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So good. So good. Y'all can help us back to the beginning. Say, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Say, Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. All over the room. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Say, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. The next part says, people from every nation and tongue, from, from generation to generation, we can lift it up all over this church. We worship. Say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can put your hand. You worship you for who you are. Oh, all over the room, we worship, worship you. Hallelujah. 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 We worship we you worship for who you are. We're going to say that one more time all together. We worship you. Worship you. Say hallelujah. Say you are, say all the time, and all the time, you are good. Say you are good, all the time, and all the time, you are good. One more, say you are good, all the time, and 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 all the time. Say you are good all the time, and all the time, you are good, you are good all the time, and all the time, you are, say, Lord, you are good. Say, Lord, you are good. We can lift it together all over the room. Say, Lord, you are good. Lord, and your mercy endureth forever and ever. One more time. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth If we could lift it up as a whole church and say, people from every nation. People 
people from every tongue, from generation to generation. We worship you. Hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. Whoa. We worship, we worship. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship for who you are. We can say for who you are. It's not for what you've done. This, it's not for what you've given me. Yes, for who you are. One more time for who you are. Yes, and you are good. You are good. Hallelujah. day much people that would come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem they took branches of palm trees and they went Forth to meet him. And they cried, Hosanna. Blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. God bless you. If you would allow me to preach from such a text today, I want to preach from this title, Rescue Me. Rescue. 
rescue me. Am I in here by myself? Rescue me. In 1965, an artist sounds strikingly familiar to a preacher's kid, perhaps by the name of Aretha Franklin, performed a hit song entitled Rescue, Rescue Me. I wish I had just one more with me. She sang the song, Rescue Me. Perhaps some of us are familiar with this song. Not only is some of us familiar with this song, perhaps some of us here today may remember when it came out. Rescue me. Well, it seems as though I may need to help you remember. Rescue. I'll share this with you. Fontella Bass recorded it, but it was performed by Aretha Franklin. So as we deviate back to the point, she says, rescue me. Take me in your arms. Rescue me. I want your tender charms. Because I'm lonely. And I'm blue. Somebody's saying, well, how does this relate to the text? I'm going to get there in just a minute. And I need you. Your love, too. Come on and rescue me. My brothers and sisters, if we peruse the perimeters of this pericope, we see that the people in this text were singing a strikingly similar song. Well, they were saying, Hosanna. Hosanna, 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 it echoed through all four Gospels. Hosanna! Brothers and sisters, as I look at this text, Hosanna, in all four Gospels, it solidifies the anomaly of what it means. And what I share with you is, brothers and sisters, it echoed through all of the Gospels. If you don't believe me, you can travel with me to Matthew 21, 1 through 11. It is also discovered in uh, Mark 11, 1 through 11. We stumble upon it yet again in Luke 19, 28 through 40, and there again, there is an encore that is experienced, and it emerges in our text this morning, John 12 and 12. It just seems like to me that God wanted us to glean something from this individual event it is like he strategically placed it somewhere 
so much so that our minds would glean something from it, even though John is not part of the synoptic gospels. Somebody might be saying, well, Reverend Letcher, what you mean? What I'm saying is John was written from a whole different lens. But this particular piece is written and discovered in all four Gospels. Jews said, we want to see a sign. But the Gentiles said, we want to see Jesus. My brothers and sisters, might I suggest to you that you not only allow this Palm Sunday to be a ceremony to operate as a service, but you let it become an opportunity for you to let other folks see Jesus. Man, y'all a hard crowd today. Don't let it just be a service. Don't let it just be a day that you come in here, sing, and then you leave out of here cussing folk out. Let this be an opportunity for somebody in your sphere of influence to see the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As too many churches they like Palm Sunday just to be a service. But we got to get to a place where we're comfortable with servicing people. Everybody don't look like us. Everybody does not understand what church looks like. So we've got to get on the level of the community that we serve. I'm finna mess somebody up in here today. If that means cutting some type of service that we used to do out, we need to go in the community that's right here. Brothers and sisters, I don't want this to just be a ceremony that we do on Sundays, but I pray that Palm Sunday and every Sunday be a Sunday uh, or an opportunity for us to bring Christ to folks who don't know Christ. There's a story my granddaddy used to tell. Now, I promise I'm about finished, y'all talks about a man that was drowning. Man was drowning, he was drowning, he was drowning. And the first boat that came by was a little tugboat. He said, I'm here to rescue you. The man was drowning, he said, no, you keep going because the Lord is gonna rescue me. Tugboat kept on going. Man uh, with a canoe came by. He, he said, hey, hey, you need, a, you need a little help, don't you? He said, no, keep on going. Because the Lord is going to rescue me. So he kept going. Another boat came by. I saw the man struggling, going down, may not to come up anymore. He said, no, you keep on going because the Lord is going to rescue me. Finally, the man died. He got so tired that he drowned. He got to the pearly gates. He saw Peter. He walked through the gates. He talked to the Lord. He said, Lord, why did you let me drown? You saw me struggling out there. Why did you let me drown? The Lord told him, fool, I sent you three boats. Y'all, I'm closing here. 
I sent you three boats. Don't be the person who God sends three boats to. And you cannot recognize the preeminent power of Jesus Christ. Last piece, and I'm out of here. We've got to look at the power of God. The people were with him. And then after they were with him, brothers and sisters, what the text says, uh, right in our text today, it says that they remembered uh, when he rose uh, Lazarus from the dead. And I know we're not talking about how he rose today, but I'm just sharing with you how he got other folks out of the grave. That's enough for me to shout right now. Jesus Christ can get whatever situation that you're facing up out of the grave. Whatever that has died before you, you can't have no, but the Lord can say, get up and walk again. I'm done. I'm the Lord. He called Lazarus out of his tomb. And Lazarus, he rose from the grave. Whatever, Lord, uh, what you're dealing with, God can raise your situation from a dying circumstance. Have I got any help in here? I know uh, that we are on our way to Calvary's Hill, but I want to tell you that he died so that I might live. Is there anybody here? that glad he died. Is there anybody here that's glad he died? What the seasoned saints used to say, because, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Is there anybody here that knows that because Jesus lives, the door is open. Y'all not, not ready? The door is open. The door is open. God wants to do something in your life, but you got to allow him to change it. The door is open. I just sure wish somebody would come to Christ today. Brothers and sisters, pleasant, the pleasant parishioners, I'm talking to you now. Don't let this be the only day that you talk about Christ to somebody who does not know Christ. Talk about the Lord. When you're on page, talk about the Lord and what he's done for you. The door is open.